In this video, let's see how we can remove an existing regular key from a master account. So this is the master account. This is the regular account. So let me output the account information of the master account. I'll also output the R address of the regular account. Let me comment this snippet of code. Okay, that's it. Let me execute this. So as you can see, this is the regular key, which matches this. So we are going to remove this regular key from the master account. So before continuing, let's go to the documentation and read something about removing a regular key from master account. Set regular key transaction. working with regular key pair and then remove a regular key pair. So if you want to remove a compromised regular key pair from your account, you don't need to generate a key pair first. Just use a set regular key transaction, omit the regular key field. Note that the transaction fails if you don't have another way of signing, you, signing for your account currently enabled, which is either the master key pair or the signer list, okay? So when removing a regular key pair from your account, the set regular key transaction requires signing by your account's master private key or the secret or existing regular key pair, okay? Let's get back to the code editor. So this is the regular key we are going to remove. Let me comment these two lines of code. Scroll down. So this is set regular key payload. Let me uncomment this. So we are executing this on behalf of master account and we already know why we are writing this line of code for fee. This is the sequence number of master account and the important thing is we need to omit this field entirely. You can either comment this out like this or if you are not comfortable with it just remove it altogether. So this is the payload. These are the fields you need. Just omit regular key field and your current regular key will be deleted or removed. So let us execute it. You can sign this payload either using the master key or the current regular key. I'll just use the current regular key which just opts itself out of being a regular key for the master account. That's it, everything looks fine. Let me execute this. And the transaction is successful. Let's get back, comment this, and let's check the account information of the master account. Okay, we need to uncomment these. And as you can see, there is no regular key information in this account info commands output, which means it doesn't have any regular key. Uh, to prove that, try making a transaction using the regular account, which should fail. So let me uncomment this. So this is a payment transaction from master account and we are signing it using regular account, but this regular account is no more a regular key of the master account. So this transaction should fail. And as expected, the transaction fails with this message that is transactions public key is not authorized. So this key is not authorized to sign the transactions of master account. That's it. That's how we remove an existing regular key from an account. So in next video, let's see how we can black hole an account. 